Kumusta mga kachutor? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Test Tutorials. For today, isa na naman panibagong division tricks ang ituturo ko sa inyo na talaga namang sobrang dali at sobrang bilis. Kaya naman, kung gusto mong matutuhan, tune in ka lang at pagkatapos ay pakilike, subscribe at hit mo na rin ang notification bell para manotify ka sa mga bago kong ia-upload na videos. Sa Division Tricks Part 3, ang ituturo ko po sa inyo ay ang pag-divide ng any number by 5. Umpisahan ko po sa 2 digits dividend. For example, meron ditong 42 divided by 5. Dito tayo mag-uumpisa sa right side digit o sa place value ng 1's digit which is 2. Ang gagawin lang natin ay dodoblihin ang mga digits mula kanan pa kaliwa. So, start tayo sa 2 na pag natin, ang sagot ay 4. Next, ito namang 4 ang doblehin at ang sagot ay 8. After that, maglalagay tayo ng decimal point. Let's move 1 place to the left. 1 place to the left lang ang decimal kasi 1 digit lang ang divisor natin which is 5. Ang final answer natin ay 8.4. Another example is 37 divided by 5. Ulitin lang natin ang proseso. I-double natin yung 7 na ang sagot ay 14. Pero kailangan natin mag-carry sa katabing digit. So, carry 1. Then, i-double natin yung 3. Ang answer ay 6. Pero idagdag natin yung kinerry natin sa taas. So, 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. And don't forget the decimal point. And the final answer is 7.4. Practicing po natin, we have 51 divided by 5. 1 times 2 is 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Our answer is 10.2. Next, we have 56 divided by 5. 6 times 2 is 12. 2 lang ang isusulat natin. And then carry 1. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 equals 11. Our final answer is 11.2. Next, dumako naman po tayo sa 3 digits dividend. So, we have 134 divided by 5. So, ganun pa rin po ang ating process. So, 4 times 2, 8. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 2 is 2. Our answer is 26.2. Eight. Next, we have 426 divided by 5. So, 6 times 2 is 12. Again, 2 lang ang isusulat natin and then carry 1. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1, 5. And then 4 times 2 is 8. Our final answer, 85.2. For practice, we have 211 divided by 5. So, 1 times 2 is 2. Again, 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Our answer, 42.2. Next, we have 248 divided by 5. 8 times 2, 16. Carry 1. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. 2 times 2 is 4. Our answer, 49.6. So, next, dumako na po tayo sa 4 digits dividend. So, ganun lang po ang ating process. We have 3,312 divided by 5. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Again, 3 times 2 is 6. Don't forget the decimal point. Our answer is 662.4. Next, we have 2,737 divided by 5. So, 7 times 2, 14, 4 lang isusulat, then carry 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Again, 7 times 2, 14, carry 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Our final answer, 547.4. So, for practice, 
we have 4014 divided by 5. So 4 times 2, 8. 1 times 2 is 2. 0 times 2, 0 pa rin ang sagot. 4 times 2 is 8. Our answer, 802.8. Next, we have 1,908 divided by 5. So, 8, doblehin natin. 16, 6 lang po ang isusulat. Then, carry 1. 0 times 2, 0 pa din. Plus 1 is 1. So, 9 times 2, 18. Carry 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Plus 1 is 3. Our answer, 381.6. Subukan naman natin ng 5 digits dividend. We have 12,203 divided by 5. Doblehin natin ang 3, 6, 0. Doblehin man natin, 0 pa din. Doblehin ang 2, 4. Again, doblehin ang 2, 4. Doblehin ang 1 is 2. Our answer, 2,440.6. So, we have another one, 45,314 divided by 5. So, 4 times 2, 8. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 5 times 2 is 10. 0 lang ang isusulat. And then, carry 1. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. So, don't forget the decimal point. Our final answer, 9,062.8. So, for final practice, we have 21,432 divided by 5. So, 2 times 2, 4. 3 times 2, 6. 4 times 2 is 8. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Our answer, 4,286.4. So, last, 32,911 divided by 5. 1 times 2 is 2. Again, 1 times 2 is 2. 9 times 2, 18. Carry 1. So, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. 3 times 2 is 6. Our final answer, 6,582.2. Ganyan lang po kadali ang tricks natin for today. Dapat lamang po natin tandaan itong tatlong steps. Una, dodoblihin lang natin ang lahat ng digits ng ating dividend o yung bilang na dapat nating hatiin sa ating divisor. Pangalawa, mag-carry tayo sa kasunod na digit kung higit sa sampo ang dinoble nating bilang. At panghuli, huwag kalimutang lagyan ng decimal point, one place to the left ang ating sagot. So that's it for today mga ka -tutor. I hope na enjoy ninyo ang tutorial ko for today. Sa mga hindi pa po nakakapanood ng Division Tricks Part 1 and Part 2, ilalagay ko po sa description box ang link. Panoorin po ninyo. Muli, marami pong salamat!